So who's the role model in your life? Some kids don't have one. That is, until now. This is a program with four role models who have taken kids off the streets of Newport News and into a place where they can better themselves. Our Laura Queso is here to tell us how they are taking back the community. Laura. Yeah, and almost all of this story was filmed in a room. That's it, a small room with just a few chairs. Small, yes, but the message and lessons learned in that room are big. Some say huge. And ten. Okay. <laughs> Only one of these boys has a biological father present in their life right now. He's just the man who brought me here. 18 year old Deshaun Williams thanks his dad for giving him life, but that's about it. Like my dad lives about 100 feet from this Boys and Girls Club. And he knows I'm here every day. He knows I'm here at the same time. And he, know, he knows what I'm doing, but he doesn't make the effort to come see me. Either. I don't get a hello, a text message. An absence filled with the presence of Cameron Bertrand or Mr. Cam. I'm 26 years old and I'm the closest thing that these kids have to a father figure that frustrated me. So he did something about it. He reached out to these men and that's how the program Passport to Manhood was born. It's a program that um, makes kids understand that getting older doesn't make you a man. Um, it's taking accountability of your actions, being able to be a person that people can depend on. Mr. Cam and his friend Dorian know that becoming a man doesn't come without bumps in the road. He knows the violence in their community. The two mentors were robbed and shot leaving a homecoming game in November. And go ahead and, and take the comfortable route. It's very hard to turn your back on a community that's putting food in your stomach and clothes in your back. We all know that. By the end of the day, those same people are going to be there for you when you locked up. Dial Eason was locked up. And after that, I didn't want to go back to that. So to better himself, he signed up for the Passport to Manhood program, and he's the first to graduate. Well, now he's employed by the Boys and Girls Club. He's a college wrestler, too. If I can do it, you can. That's just the way I say it. I came from the same place you come from. Why can't you be the same way? Why can't you open your own doors? It's why Mr. Cam and these role models do what they do. The program is about inspiring our boys to understand and embrace what it takes to grow into productive, caring, and responsible men. It implements tools and resources for these kids to actually overcome conflict. The focus is on these young men struggling at school or at home. They make goals. They discuss gangs, how choices affect their lives. Uh, I have a friend who wants me to join a gang. I don't want to be disloyal to this friend. What should I do? A real life question teens like Shaquan face. He's a 17 year old colorblind artist who was the man of his household. I have three siblings. All of them are younger than me and all of our dads aren't like really in our lives per se. He uses this program to come out of his shell, to calm his short temper, to have fun, to be a teen. Going to this club has changed my life because it allowed me to be um, I'm going to become more social with other people that I'm not familiar with. Boys turning into men, thanks to these four men who are taking back the community. It's a war out there right now. It's a war, and these are the ones, like, we, we can't fight this battle for them. They're the soldiers out there. They're the ones every day on a daily basis that have to go out there and make those choices and take back the community that they live in. And remember Deshaun, the teen who says his father lives 100 feet from the club? Well, he's so inspired by both the Boys and Girls Club and Passport to Manhood that he's setting goals, hoping to become the CEO of the organization one day. And Deshaun, we're rooting for you. Laura Queso, it's on your side.